Hey, Brian from Garage from Hall. Today we have the ReadyWise Emergency Food Supply. Um, it's got like a bunch of stuff in here, and I got the, the smallest bucket because I wanted to like check it out and basically cook everything, see how it tastes, sample everything, as well as show everybody what you get like in about one bucket's worth. Uh, anyway, it does come with a seal on it, which I've taken off ahead of time, and inside. You have all the packets, and on the outside, it basically tells you what the contents are, the ingredients of each of the meals, and the servings, as well as on each package. So you get each package boasts it's about like a, four servings per each one. So if you got a family of four, you should be able to go about like about two days in an emergency situation. So this is the brown sugar and maple grain cereal. This is a uh, savory stroganoff, so that's like a lunch or a dinner. Apple cinnamon cereal, so it's another breakfast. Orange drink, so you'll be able to make a lot of servings out of this. So, you have a Southwest rice and beans. You have a creamy pasta and vegetables. And then in this one, this is gonna be your uh, your tomato basil soup and pasta. And then the last thing in here is this is gonna be your like your whey milk. So it's like kind of like a, a protein fortified milk product. And then it's gonna give you basic directions on how to prepare each of the packets. So, and that is, that's it. You can also use this to carry water and or store all this stuff in. But uh, I'm gonna show how you make one of these and then I'll show you everything spread out on a table, like how much food it actually makes, just to give you an idea. And again, this is kind of like their, uh, their regular one bucket food supply. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, so this is the orange drink, and it calls for two tablespoons for one cup of cool water. So this is a half a gallon pitcher, so we're gonna use half the mix, or we're gonna use basically uh, eight scoops of two tablespoons, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is the uh, two tablespoon. And we're gonna cut the pack open. And it says remove oxygen absorber inside. So we're gonna take a look for that. And that is your oxygen absorber. So obviously it says do not eat. And then so we're going to go for eight scoops. So that's one, two, and that's your eight. Okay, and then we got half a packet left, so we're going to put this back in here. And we'll seal this up to use later. And make sure you use chilled water. And we just mix it around. And we'll let this sit and absorb for a little bit. And then we'll pour ourselves a glass. All right. All right, so we made the brown sugar and multigrain here and the apple and cinnamon cereal there. Um, this took three and a half cups of water and the apple cinnamon took uh, one and a third cups. And like I said, it took about, uh, about 15 minutes after we boiled the water and then we let it sit. So it's basically ready to serve and just giving you an idea of how much this made. This made up a, a good portion and that stuff looks great. So we are going to pour this into our tray. And it smells fantastic. Cow. So that is, that's a lot of food. So it basically said after you had to sit for about 12 to 15 minutes to let it sit for another um, three to five minutes or so so it's ready to serve and ready to eat and then let's go over to the apple cinnamon and again this was about a third water and it was the same preparation we brought water to boil and we added a 
There's one third a cup of water. And after we added it, we let it sit for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then this is a, a thicker consistency. And man, you can smell the uh, apple cinnamon in this one as well. And then same thing. We let that sit for about uh, about three to five minutes and it'll be ready to serve. Hey, this is the whey milk. So we'll open a packet and this makes 12 servings. And again, you have your oxygen absorber in there. So basically you need a quarter cup of water at room temperature. And then you need three quarters of a cup at like cold, like refrigerated. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two tablespoons and we're going to put it into the room temperature water so it mixes. I'm going to stir this until it's, it's dissolved. quarters and we'll stir that in and we'll pour it in our glass And we're good to go. Great taste of milk. All right, all right. So this is the savory stroganoff, and we're going to be doing the creamy pasta and vegetables. And both of them, basically, it's four cups of boiling water. Uh, so bring four cups of water to a boil. And once that's ready, we'll add each packet, and then it's going to be the same thing. You're going to let it sit for about 12 to 15 minutes for each one. So this is going to be the savory stroganoff. And again, look for the oxygen packet in each one. So this is the stroganoff going in. Okay, so we'll stir that around. Make sure it's all mixed in really good. back on and then next we'll come over here and we'll do the uh, creamy creamy pasta vegetable and these are sealed really good and I don't see the oxygen packet on top but we'll start adding this and I'll try to catch that packet before it goes in there That looks really good. Here's the oxygen pack out. Let's add the rest of this. And we'll stir this in. Right, that looks really good. Okay put the lid back on and then we'll turn uh, the heat off on both of them and we'll come back in 12 to 15 minutes and we'll see how it looks all right so this is the southwest beans and rice four cups of water and it's gonna be the same thing bring it to a boil and we're gonna let it set for 12 to 15 minutes covered and then same three to five minutes after that they'll be ready to eat Look for the oxygen pack, just right here on top. And we'll stir this in. This looks really good. Okay. So we'll leave that 
that covered. Turn it off and then we'll come over and this is the tomato basil soup with pasta. It looks like this one has a ripped open bag. Yeah, it does. Right, same thing. I don't see the oxygen pack, so we're going to start pouring. Oop. Found the oxygen pack. Take that out. And this one says to simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. So we're going to mix this in. And we'll leave this uncovered since we're going to simmer it. Oh wow, this one smells pretty amazing. Okay. And then we'll turn that down on low. And we'll let that simmer for uh, 12 to 15 minutes. The stroganoff prepared. I mean, it came out great. I might play it a little better centered over here. And I'm definitely going to need probably a second plate. And grab another one. So that's that. Now this is going to be, I'm going to get a second plate just to be proactive. And this is the creamy vegetable and pasta. This one smells really good. Holy cow. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is everything prepared. I mean, you got some really big portions and it all came in this little tub. But I mean, you have your apple cinnamon cereal, your brown sugar and multigrain. You have your stroganoff, you have your creamy vegetable, you have your Southwest beans and rice. You'll make two orange drinks like this and you'll make 12 glasses of the milk as well. I mean, this is a lot of food, this is enough that it's going to get you through any type of emergency, you know, snowstorm, blizzard, zombie apocalypse, whatever the world's going to throw at you. Anyway, and this was just one bucket. So I think this was a great, great product. Glad Amazon's carrying it and it gets delivered right to your door. Anyhow, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, I'm ready to start eating. Be safe out there.